Hi, it's day two of the challenge. <laughs> I think I might have bitten off more than I could chew because there's such a commitment to force myself to get out after work every day, you know, and I don't even know if it's going to rain. Tomorrow's might be different because the car has to go in and be serviced. It's getting the new suspension strut. So I've got to drop that off at the village, the next village along, which means walking home, which takes about 50 minutes. So I might go through the woodland and we'll do some woodland photography for day three. However, it's day two and I'm going to take a walk along the Prince of Wales Terrace here at Deal because we've got the pier, we've got the boats, we've got the, um, the castle. So all things being equal, I'll get a few shots. It's one of those strange things that this kind of photography opens itself up to all aspects of photography. So I've got obviously the coast and the sky, so I can do landscapes or seascapes, I can do cloudscapes. All these people that are walking backwards and forwards, I can secretly take some street photography, that'll be good. Then there's the um, abstracty stuff because of the boats and the kind of the fishing nets and all that kind of stuff. So this is day two, let's get started. So we'll take a nice walk along the seafront and just see if we can see anything of interest. Yeah, so Deal has got quite a history, shall we say, an history, because it's got an H in it. Starts with an H, a history. Um, fishing. British defences, Henry VIII, and this, Deal Castle. You can take a look at my video of a walk around at Deal Castle. I'll put a link up at the top left. I did that on my other channel. So when you think about castles that are built, you know, Edward I's time, 1200s, all of that, big fortifications with, um, you know, huge towers and everything. By the 1500s, they were building them as flat stock um, defences with cannon on top and this castle, I'll overlay a picture here, is actually in the shape of a Tudor rose. Shall we take a picture of it? <laughs> See if we can get some kind of aspect because that's what we're doing right, we're out here trying to take photographs. Photo of the day. Is there anything interesting? You can't get anything really interesting here can you? Other than yeah, let's just take a picture of the castle. It's not that interesting, to be quite honest. Simply because you can't get the right angle. It's so flat and wide, you know, standing next to it, you won't get a good picture. But look at the sky, isn't that amazing? Different colours and hues and blues. And the pier. So the strange thing with the challenge is that I've not actually set myself a goal to take specific pictures. You know, I could have, in the past I did um, Macro Monday, didn't I? And um, Street Photography Tuesday or whatever it was. And I was forcing myself just to do that genre of photography. Whereas now it's just, I've got to go out and take photographs one day for seven days. <laughs> Which is fine, because it just means I don't have to restrict myself. So I'm going to see if I can see something of interest along here with all the boats. We've got some old machinery and oh, I like that, the old shell thing. I'm just putting the camera in shutter priority because I am letting the auto exposure. Isn't that nice, Lady Rosina? bit dark at the bottom but the beauty of this camera is if I focus down at the bottom it adjusts the exposure and I can just hold it in lock it's a nice looking boat actually morning haze and Rudy I did see another upturned boat down there what about Lady Irene that's rather nice isn't it couple of boat pictures. <laughs> this is the one I saw. Upturned. 
It's old Ben Gardner's boat. <laughs> Jaws reference, Ben Gardner's boat. I don't know if it's the case. So if I take the shot from here, I get the other boat in the background. The other thing to remember is that don't just rock up. See if you can get the composition. Still got that other boat in the background. I want to try and isolate the boat, so I've got to do it above, like that. That works. Got all the old diesel generators, which I don't think retail sale of fish from Beach Block. Fish may only be sold by permit holders displaying whatever it says. You can read it. Just take a shot of that. Fascinating. I would imagine they still actually fish here. All the fish tackle and the fish nets, because it's all cordoned off here, so. But I think we can get round the front there. Maybe get onto the pebbly beach. Have a look at the boats from the back. Yes, we have pebble beaches in Kent. We do have a few sand beaches. Look at this, are these lobster pots? Come on, tell me they are, or crayfish. Got to get a shot out of this. Where's the best composition? Something like that. Trying to get the um, camera as close to the GoPro as possible. Just going to go a little round here because um, there's some nets, a big whole batch of nets. Yeah, I kind of want to take a picture of this. It's chaotic, but it represents the day shift. It's all for posterity. <laughs> Maybe one day it won't be here. Let's get back on the road, walk down there. They're doing up the um, terraced houses. They do look a bit elegant though, don't they? I can never work out if this is a single house or if they are flats, you know, apartments. Someone has the lower floor, second floor and third floor, or second and third floor, if that makes sense. Can you imagine that in its day being one owned by one person? I can see the green door, number seven, has got four bells. So I'm going to take a picture of number seven, straight on with the door. And then I'm going to zoom in because there's a, a model bust. And I think that that looks pretty cool with the hat. <laughs> How about a shot of the pier from here? And we'll get it at its widest angle because we've got the lovely sky. I might go and stand underneath it, but I've, done, I've kind of done that today. But this is my landscape shot. Right, let's cross the road because I want to have a look at the, is it the bell tower? Let's go and have a look. Time Ball Tower, it says. So at the top, there's a globe, which I think rises to the top on the hour and then slowly drifts down towards the bottom of the hour. But I will confirm that by reading the little historic deal plaque that's here. It says the Time Ball Tower once stood in the naval yard by the main entrance gate. It was originally the site of the Shutter Telegraph between 70, built in 1795 to six to warn the Admiralty in London of London, uh, Napoleon's expected invasion during the Napoleonic Wars. You can read the rest. You can pause to read, can't you? It doesn't actually say. 
A 14 foot mast was erected on top of the signalling station with an iron ball which ran up and down its length. At 12.55 each day, the ball was raised halfway to warn ships to be ready to correct their chronometers. At 12.58, it was raised to the top of the shaft and exactly one, it was dropped automatically by an electrical current from Greenwich. And it does look like you can go in here the time ball tower. Let's take an elevated upward shot. <laughs> I'm going to try and do this. Look at that. That's the remnants of the old Regency cinema, which must have dated to, from the 30s, maybe 40s and 50s. I can imagine it looks like the Beatles in the early 60s, so the 50s and 60s, Teddy Boys. I think it will make a nice photograph coming face on. So I'll have to cross the road again. The Centre for Arts, right? Oh, look at that, broken windows. Let's just take a picture of the broken windows because people have got no regrets. No regrets, no respect. Let's cross the road. You see a derelict building and I guess the first thoughts are, can I throw a stone at it? Right, I've got the sun in my eyes, so I need to come forward. I think we can get a nice shot of the Regency Cinema. A bit of architecture. Let's come back a bit. I think it's called reportage, isn't it? Where you're um, capturing real life at real moments in time. Right, we're getting near the um, edge of the pier. We've got the pubs with all their umbrellas. And look at the colours and the people. I'm going to cross over because I might be able to get away with some street photography here. They might think I'm taking pictures of the umbrellas, but I'm actually taking pictures of the people gathered round the table. That's the beauty of having the zoom, you see. forgetting that I've got the DJI on the little tripod thing here because I'm relying on the um, GoPro to take the footage so I'm walking along with it on record as I've got it face down. I kind of like this, Dunkley's hotel and restaurant, bar and bistro. So if I can get onto the middle island here without being run over because I like I like that exact central apex of the barrier. It's nice colours, I like the green. And we can get, get it with the lady. And the car, didn't want the car. But the lady's good because it's reportage again, isn't it? I guess that's the other thing because it's, um, because it's, what would you call it? Um, evening and I've done my work and I've come out there's, no, there's nobody around although I did get that picture of that girl holding her phone to her ear hopefully it came out if it didn't come out then it won't be shown I'm not going to go down you know I could go down to the um, underneath the pier but I've done that to death I've even done shots from there when I was doing my leading lines video and I actually stood at the end and you know just pointed the camera down but we know leading lines, don't we? It takes the viewer's eye into the subject from the beginning of the photograph. I could do some um, street photography. I could do some shutter priority with moving cars. I've done it all. I think what I might do is just wind the video up now, taking a picture of the deal pier entrance with the statue might be worth actually going down. There's me saying, let's not do it. 
I'll get smack in the middle of the railing. Oh, I don't know, you know, there's people down there and I might be able to get something from it. And the sky is looking rather amazing. zoom out at 24 mil to a nice street photography shot the lady checking her phone that's it I think well a rather successful bimble along the Prince of Wales seafront, or terrace, or whatever it's called, here in Deal. Just capturing a few shots, boats, castle, old buildings, people, the pier, restaurants, colours, vibrancy. This could be a good thing. Tomorrow's is, is going to be a walk in the woodland, I think, so prepare yourselves for that if you're following, the, um, if you're following along. Um, I am going to create a playlist and it will appear at the end of each of the videos but I think the way that YouTube because I'll schedule the releases I'm not sure if you're able to see each of the videos prior to their release but you could possibly the way play playlists work even if I set the video as unlisted you can watch it if you go to the playlist <laughs> binge watch all episodes because they're all going to be released i'm going to upload them all at the same time but release them one day at a time so stay tuned for tomorrow and i'll see you then bye for now and thanks for bearing with <laughs>